What's up everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a 30 minute mat Pilates workout with the magic circle. If we've not met before, my name is Margaret. I'm a certified Pilates instructor living in Colorado. If you've got your magic circle, let's go ahead and get into it. We'll start today just by coming into a comfortable seated position. Whatever that's gonna look like for you, you can go cross-legged, legs out in front of you, just wherever you feel comfortable, stable, supported, that's where I want you to go. Take a big roll of the shoulders, open up through the chest, reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. From here, we'll take four big deep breaths, inhaling to fill the body up with air, letting our air fill the rib cage from side to side, from front to back. And we'll exhale out, let all of that air go. Let the shoulders just float down the back. Three more like that, nice big inhale. And we'll exhale out, let it go. Good, this is two, big inhale. And we'll exhale out, let it go. Good, last one, nice big inhale. And then we'll exhale out, let everything go. Good, from right here, let's grab onto that ring. Take your ring so it comes right in between the heels of your hands. I want you to point the fingertips forward and then open up through your chest, roll the shoulders down and back. Squeeze a little bit right underneath the armpit, take the elbows nice and close to your rib cage. On an inhale, you'll push the ring forward, pushing your fingertips to me. You'll exhale, give the ring a little bit of pressure, squeeze the elbows into the rib cage, squeeze underneath the armpits. Let's do that three more times, reach it forward. Exhale, squeeze it in. Good, this is gonna be two, reach forward. Squeeze it in. This will be our last one, reach the ring forward. And then exhale, squeeze it in. With that final exhale, you push the ring forward once again. We're gonna take an inhale to rotate over towards the right. I'm mirroring you just so that you know. We'll exhale, squeeze back to center. And then inhale, rotate over towards the left. Exhale, we take it back to center. Let's do that three more times. Each side, three. And three. Good, we'll go for two. And two. Good, last one. And one. Good, we're gonna come all the way back through center. Again, drop the shoulders away from the ears, give me a soft bend at the elbows just so you're not locking out your elbows with the arms extended in front of you. We'll take a big inhale to lift the ring so it comes up overhead, shoulders still dropping away from the ears. You'll exhale, gentle pressure into that ring, squeeze underneath the armpits, pull the ring back down in front of your chest. Good, three more like that, nice big inhale. And we'll exhale out, let it go. Good, two more, big inhale. And we exhale, squeeze into that ring, let it go. We'll go for one more, big inhale. And then we'll exhale out, let it all go. Beautiful, from right there, let's take the legs so they go all the way out in front of us. I want you to anchor the sits bones down into the mat, sit up nice and tall, and then open your legs up so that they're about mat's distance apart. From here, you flex your feet like your feet are pressed right up against a wall. The ring comes back out in front of you. It's gonna be a big inhale to sit up tall. You'll exhale, tuck chin to chest, rounding forward, like you're rounding your upper body over a beach ball. Inhaling there at the bottom, we'll exhale. Pull in from the belly button. Think about restacking your spine in space. Sit up nice and tall, crown of the head's the last thing to lift. You drop the shoulders down and back. Let's do that two more times. Big inhale at the top. Exhale, tucking chin to chest, rounding forward, forward, forward. Inhaling right here, exhaling to pull in from the belly button, restacking the spine nice and slow. Good, one more. Inhale up at the top, think about reaching out through the crown of the head. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, rounding forward again, like you're rounding over that big beach ball shape. Good, and then exhale, pull the belly button in. We come all the way back up to seated. Now, once you get there, I want you to keep your lower body still. Inhale to rotate over towards the right. Just like you're doing a saw, you're gonna exhale to reach forward, reaching the ring to the outside of the right foot. Exhale, you're gonna squeeze through the obliques, pull back up to center, derotate, and then take it over towards the left. Reaching the ring to the outside of the left foot. We'll exhale to squeeze through the side body, come back through center. Let's do two more each side, over to the right. Reach that ring forward. Exhale, pull it up, derotate, and then come over towards the left. Reach it forward, 
pull it up. Good, this will be our last one. Twist to the right and reach. Pull in, de-rotate to the left and reach. Big exhale, pull in, de-rotate from right here. Again, you inhale, sit up tall. You're gonna exhale, draw belly button to spine. Start to roll yourself all the way down to the mat. Nice and slow, shoulder blades come down, head drops down, arms go back overhead. You take that big inhale. And then on your exhale, you're squeezing into the ring. You're pulling from underneath the armpits to lift the ring back up above the chest. Keep pressing into the ring as you tuck your chin to your chest, draw the belly button in, push into the hips, roll yourself all the way up, pause at the top, and then round forward through the upper back. Good, let's do two more like that. Inhale up at the top, I'm gonna to scooch forward, or else I'm gonna roll myself straight off of my mat. Inhale at the top, exhale, draw, belly button in, roll things back nice and slow. Good, shoulder blades come down, head drops down, arms go back overhead, it's a big inhale, find length, open up through the body, and then exhale, press into that ring, squeeze underneath the armpits, tuck the chin to the chest, continue to press into the ring as you roll yourself up, and then round forward through the upper back, just like we did with spine stretch. Good, one more like this, inhaling at the top, exhaling, drawing the belly button to the spine, rolling things all the way back, nice and slow, shoulders come down, head drops down, arms go back overhead big inhale good and then we exhale lift the arms above the shoulders tuck the chin to the chest roll everything up and then round forward through the upper back beautiful okay from right here we're gonna bend at the knees take your feet flat on the mat take your ring so it comes right in between the inner thighs i believe we did this in our last ring workout but it's always good to do so let's do it again take that ring right between the inner thighs about an inch above the knees we'll reach the arms so they go out in front of us you'll give me a big inhale sit up nice and tall and then you'll rotate over towards the right we're gonna exhale roll down on that right side inhale at the bottom exhale squeeze it right back up i'm not going to make you do a lot here I just want to help you warm up your core. Good. Let's just go for four more. Roll it back. Pull it forward. Good. For three. And forward. We'll go two. Good. And then last one, you're going to roll back. Hold it right there. See if you can twist a little bit deeper in the upper body. And then give me ten tiny pulses. One inch forward. One inch back. For nine. For eight. We'll go seven, this is six, five, four, three, whew, two, last one. We're gonna roll ourselves all the way up. You can round forward over the legs, big inhale. Exhale, let it go, and then re-engage onto the ring, arms out in front of you. Inhale to rotate over towards the left. Exhale, roll down on that left side. Inhaling at the bottom, exhaling to roll right back up. Remember, it's not a lot of reps, okay? So take it slow, keep it controlled. Just give me four more. Four. Whew, try to keep those feet down on the mat for three. Good, for two. And then last one, we get to roll back and hold. See if you can twist a little bit deeper in the upper body. And then once you're ready, it's 10 tiny pulses forward and back for nine. For eight, we'll go seven, six. This is five, four, three, two, Last one, we're gonna de-rotate through center, arms reach out in front, roll yourself all the way down onto your mat. Good, from right here, grab onto the ring, scoot yourself down just a little bit. A little bit, okay. From right here, we're gonna take the ring, you'll place it in between the ankles. And I might even scoot forward a little bit more. Okay, ring goes in between the ankles. I want you to flex through your feet. Now, hopefully you've done the rollover before with me, but if you have not, watch the first couple of reps, see how it's gonna go for you, ditch the ring if you need to. I want you to keep your head down on the mat, keep the arms down, spread the fingertips wide, distribute your weight through the upper body. We're gonna drop the legs down to about a 45, a high diagonal. When you're ready, you give that ring a little bit of pressure, we'll exhale, draw in from the belly button, you're going to lift your hips up off of the mat, pushing the legs back behind you. Flex your feet, and then nice and slow, we roll ourselves all the way down. Rolling down inch by inch through the spine. 
This is always where my mic gets smashed. So hopefully it doesn't get smashed. Hopefully you can hear me drop those legs to 45. Let's just do three more. Big exhale, lift it up. Reach those legs back behind you, flex the feet. And then slowly with control, we lower down, 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 legs to 45. Big exhale, squeeze the ring, draw the belly button in, whoop, flex. And then lower down, 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 down. Legs to 45, we go one more. Big exhale, draw in from the belly button. And then we lower down, down, whoop, down. Down, good, from right there. Bend the knees, grab onto your ring. Feet can come down to the mat, just drop the knees a little bit from side to side. Take a deep breath, take a second, reset. You've got it under control. From right here, oh, wiggle around as much as you need to. Um, we're going to take the ring so that it comes right in between the inner thighs. I'd say just about an inch above the knees. Give that ring a good squeeze, plant, or plant, I was going to say anchor, and then I said plant. So um, plant the feet down onto the mat, press down into the heels, spread the fingertips wide, press down into the shoulders, all of that good stuff. We're going to exhale, squeeze onto that ring, tuck the tailbone under, roll the hips up so you come up into a bridge. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll it all the way back down. Good. I'm just going to make you do, oh, I don't know, about four more like this. That'll be four. Good. We'll go three. This is two big deep breaths. Good. And then last one, we're going to come up to the top, hold it right there. Again, see if you can press down into the shoulders. We want to feel stable in the upper body. Squeeze a little bit deeper into your glutes like you're holding onto a $100 bill right there. Now from here, it's 20 tiny pulses onto that ring. You go 20. I'll count in my head. <laughs> Whoo, 15. This is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Good. Lower all the way down. Tap the tailbone down. Take an inhale and then exhale. Roll the hips all the way back up. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Roll it down. Let's go for four more. Roll things up and take it down. Good. We'll go three. Oh my gosh, this is two. Good. And then last one, we get to press up and hold. Now this is honestly what I think is the hardest thing that we're going to do today. If you disagree, you let me know in the comments. Uh, press the upper body down so we're stable right there. I want you to shift your weight into that left foot. Squeezing onto the ring, you're going to extend that right leg out. Take it down. Still squeezing onto the ring. We take the left leg, kick it out. Pull it down. I'm going to make you do three more each side, and I'll do it with you. Three. Whoo. And three. Pelvis staying still. Upper body staying still. Two. Good. And two. It's not easy. Whoo. Okay. Last one. Kick out. And in. We'll go out. And in. And then lower your hips all the way down. Grab onto that ring. Oh, okay. Drop the knees side to side. Take a deep breath. And then from right here, feet come back down onto the mat. I'd say about hips distance apart as if you were about to go back up into your spinal articulation, but we're not going to. Take the ring so it comes just between the heels of the hands. Oh my gosh. Whew. Fingertips are going to point up to the ceiling. Squeeze the elbows in towards your rib cage, and then just give me a big inhale. Push that ring up over your chest. Exhale to squeeze into the ring. Pull it back down in front of you. Inhale to push up. Find length. Exhale, squeeze into the ring. Draw the elbows to the rib cage. Take it down. Four more like this. Four. <sighs> we'll go three. This is two. And then last one. Good. Take the ring back in front of your chest. We're going to float the legs to tabletop. So right leg up, left leg up. Squeeze the legs together if you can. And if you feel right away your pelvis is tipping forward, try to press it back down into the mat. Okay. Now holding the legs here, you're going to go back into what we just did. Inhale, push that ring up. Exhale, squeeze the ring, pull it back into your chest. Inhale, reach up. 
exhale, take it down. Good, reach up, pull down. Good, let's go for four more. Reach up, squeeze it in. This is three, and in. Good, for two, and last one. Good, feet come back down to the mat. Both feet down, hips distance apart. Oh my gosh, I just got a little cramp in my inner thigh. Oh, I'm gonna feel this tomorrow and you are too. If you do, you come back to this video, you let me know. Okay, you're gonna reach that ring up above your chest. Give it a little bit of pressure and now keeping the lower body still, we're just gonna inhale, reach that ring back overhead. Maybe you can tap it down to the mat. I can't quite. You'll exhale, press into the ring, squeeze underneath the armpits, pull the arms back up above the chest. We'll keep going like that. Inhale, reach it back. As you're reaching back, I want you to ensure that your rib cage is staying closed. So you think about how your rib cage is, you know, positioned in your body. We'll think about pulling the bottom two tips of the rib cage closer together and then pushing them one inch back towards the spine. Good. Good, stop the ring next time it comes over your chest. Legs lift to tabletop, squeeze the legs together, find a connection into your inner thighs. Not moving through the legs, we'll inhale, reach that ring back overhead. Exhale, squeeze underneath the armpits, press into the ring, pull that ring back up above the chest. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, pull it in. Now on this next one, we'll take it into a double leg stretch. Ring goes back, legs go long. Exhale, we're gonna crunch up, reaching the ring to the shins. Inhale, we reach out, arms and legs. You can drop the head down if you'd like to. Exhale, pull the knees to the nose, reach that ring to the shins. Let's do three more. Reach it out, pull it in. Good, for two. And then last one, inhale, reach out. Exhale, squeeze it in. Very good. From right here, drop the head down. Let your ring just rest onto your shins. Rock the hips a little bit from side to side. Take a big deep breath. Beautiful. And then from right here, what we're gonna do is cross at the ankles. You're gonna roll yourself up into um, a seated position. Okay, and then from right here, we're gonna do a little bit of work through this side body. So I want you to take your ring to the left edge of your mat. We'll take the right leg through the ring and we're gonna press that ring, I'd say about an inch, maybe two inches above the ankle on the outside edge of the foot. Now from right there, what we're gonna do is lay all the way down onto our right side. And I'm gonna prop my head up here with my hand. If you'd prefer to come all the way down, go ahead, come all the way down. Left leg's gonna come to the top of the ring. I want you to flex both feet. And we're just gonna squeeze down and down onto the ring. Down and down, good. Now, if you're propped up with your um, hand or your head in your hand, you may not be able to press all the way down into your side body and that's all right. I just want you to find that sensation of lift. Actually, let's see, I might readjust. I'm gonna come down onto my arm, there we go. We go down and down, flexing through both feet. The feet are our foundation. They inform how the rest of our body moves. Good, give me 20 more right here. 15. This is 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take that left leg, shoot it through the rings. We're pressing into the inside pad, both feet flexed. You press up and up, up and up. Good, up and up, you got it. Always after I film ring workouts, like the day after, I'm like, ah, my inner thighs, my hips, ah. So I know they're, they're tricky for me and I know they're tricky for you guys too, but you love them. That's why we're here. Let's do 20 more. Keep breathing. This is 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one, keep pressing out onto that ring. We're gonna make a smooth transition into laying all the way down on the mat. This is a transition that I saw on Pilates anytime when I took a class last week. Now we're gonna roll over, keep pressing into the ring. Legs are gonna move with you. Oh my gosh, look at you, you're in prone. Arms are gonna come in front of you. Now I want you to prop up a little bit so you're already in a little bit of extension with your back. Flex through your feet, press out onto the ring. We're gonna inhale, bend through the knees and then inhale, release, let it go. Now, if you wanna lift your quads off of the mat, that's fine with me, right? If that feels okay, go for it. I'm gonna keep my quads pressing down. We'll just do about four more right here. Four, and release. This is three, and release. We'll go two, release. And last one, I want you to bend the knees to 90 degrees, hold it right there, flex the feet. We're gonna push up and up. So you're pressing out onto the ring, you're trying to lift the quads off of the mat. Up and up for four more, four, three, two. Last one, you lower the legs down, bend the knees, grab onto your ring, put the ring off to the side, and then you're gonna press yourself all the way up and back into a child's pose. Hips to heels, arms long in front of you, take an inhale, and then exhale, let it all go. Good, from right here. Pull yourself back up into that tabletop position so that we can reset ourselves for the other side with our fun little inner and outer thigh pulses. We'll take that ring to the right edge of the mat. Left leg is gonna slide through the ring about an inch, maybe two inches above the ankle. And then we're gonna lay ourselves all the way down onto the mat. The trickiest part here is finding that position that's comfortable for you in your body. Once you get there, right leg comes to the top. We flex both of the feet. You start to squeeze down and down, down and down. So you have to maintain a little bit of pressure into that left leg. You're actively pressing the left leg into that inside pad of the ring. And if you'd like to lay all the way down, you go for it. I think I'm gonna stay there. Down and down, down and down. Good, for 20 more. Whew. This is 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bend the right knee. Take that right leg through the ring, pressing into the inside pad. Again, both feet flex. We press up and up, up, up. Good. Up and up, up and up for 20 more. 15. Good. Whoo! This is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Good from here. Keep pressing out onto the ring. We're going to roll ourselves back onto the mat, lifting the legs up. We'll grab onto that ring, take the feet out, and then readjust if you rolled yourself off of that off of the mat completely. From here, what we're going to do is lay all the way down onto our mat. We're going to do a little bit of teaser work right here. So I want you to walk your feet out um, kind of away from the hips, further than they would be for spinal articulation for sure. Bend at the knees, reach that ring up above your chest, and then give me a big exhale. Press down into the heels, press down into the hips, tuck the chin to the chest, roll yourself all the way up, and then lift those arms up overhead, okay? We're gonna inhale, lower the ring down, draw the belly button to the spine, roll all the way back, and you can reach that ring up overhead. We keep going like that, big exhale, press into the ring, roll yourself up, reach those arms up. Inhale, take it down nice and slow, articulating down through the spine. So moving inch by inch. I try not to use big technical terms like that because I just feel like it makes Pilates like totally inaccessible to a lot of people. So if I ever do that and you hate it, you just let me know, right? If you're like, what the hell is she saying? Articulation? What the? Just let me know. I'll stop it. We'll do three more like this. Big exhale, roll up. Inhale, take it down. Good, this is two. Woo! And then last one. 
Good. Once you get down, you get to stay there. We're going to lift the legs to tabletop. Knees up above the hips. You can even push them forward just a little bit, okay? Remember, I said teaser prep. So if you are not, if it's not going to work for you to be right here, I couldn't put thoughts together right there. Just drop the feet down, do what we just did, okay? Take that ring back in between the heels of your hands, reach that ring back overhead. It's gonna be a big exhale, lift the ring up above the chest, tuck the chin to the chest. You'll start to roll yourself all the way up, lifting the ring up overhead. Okay, slowly we're gonna inhale, lower it down, drawing belly button to spine. We come all the way down to the mat, head drops down, arms go back overhead. I'm just gonna make you do three more like this, tucking chin to chest. You kind of have to push the legs out so that you can come up into that teaser. It's tricky when you're flexed at the hip like this. It's a little bit tricky. I don't remember what number I said. I think it was three. So this is gonna be two. And then last one, big exhale. Woo! Okay, and then inhale, take it down. Okay, you can pull your knees in for a second. Rock a little bit side to side. Now we're gonna go into the full teaser. Ring is gonna stay in between the hands. So reach those legs out in front of you, nice and long. Ring is gonna go back overhead. I want you to close the rib cage. So again, those bottom two tips of the ribs, we pull them together, we push them back to find that deep engagement. We'll exhale, lift the ring up above the chest. You start to tuck your chin to your chest as you lift your legs up, reaching the ring up towards the feet or up overhead if that's for you. Pause right here, slowly we're gonna lower all the way down, slowly and with control. Feet drop down, head goes back. Let's do two more like this. Big exhale, roll it up. Inhale, take it down. Did I say three or two? I don't know, this is gonna be our last one. Big exhale, roll it up, reach the ring up towards the feet. Inhale, take it right back down. It's been a long teaching day for me, so words are tough. <laughs> Sequence is tough, counting is tough. Okay, pull the ring in, take a second. You can bend at the knees, drop the knees a little bit side to side, take a deep breath. Okay, one more teaser variation. It's gonna be the meanest one <laughs> that I probably ever make you do. We're gonna take the ring and put it in between the ankles. It's rude. I know. Now we don't want to drop the ring. So I want you to lower your legs down to about a 45 or wherever you can maintain. Arms go back overhead. Big exhale to crunch up through the head, neck, and shoulders. Reach the hands up towards the legs and then inhale, lower it all the way back down. Two more. Big exhale, lift up. Inhale, take it down. Ooh, last one. Big exhale, lift it up. And then inhale, lower down with control. Head drops down, knees bend in, grab onto that ring, toss it off to the side. You guys are done with it. Hands can come all the way down to the mat. I just want you to drop your knees from side to side. Take a deep breath. Feel that nice release of tension from the low back and really from anywhere else in your body. Okay, take a second, just do a full body scan. See if there are any points or any spots in your body that you still feel a little bit tense, or maybe you feel a little bit shaky. See if you can take a deep breath and, and send some energy that way. Good, okay. When you're ready, we're gonna keep the right foot down on the mat, cross the left ankle over the top of the knee for a figure four. If you'd like to, left hand can come to the left leg, gently push the left leg away from you. If that's not for you, you'd prefer a little bit more. Lift this whole shape off of the mat, hug the legs in towards your chest. Ooh, we'll hold right here for five, four, three, two, last one, dropping the right foot down. We'll uncross the ankle and then same thing on the other side. Right ankle goes over the top of the left knee. If you'd like to press that right leg away from you, take your hand to your leg, gentle pressure right there. If you'd prefer to lace your hands behind the left leg and pull this shape into your chest, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Ooh, we'll hold right here for five, four, three, two, last one. Left foot comes down to the mat, uncross that right ankle. And then again, just drop the knees side to side. Take a big deep breath. When you're ready, uh, you can, let's see, let's pull the knees into our chest. You can cross at the ankles. We'll roll ourselves up to seated. I can never decide how I wanna come out of that. From right here, we're gonna pull ourselves up and around into a tabletop position. Hands down on the mat, knees go back, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. You'll take an inhale to dip the belly down, open up through the chest, arch through the back. 
and then exhale, press away, curving through the spine. Imagine there's a string coming out the center of your spine and pulling it up towards the ceiling. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, dip down, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. And then big exhale, press into the heels of the hands, curve the spine up. Good, once you're ready right here, let's sit the hips all the way back to the heels, reach the arms in front of you, give me a big inhale. And then exhale, let it go. Good, let's go one more, big inhale. And we'll exhale, let it go. Beautiful. When you're ready, go ahead and walk yourself all the way back up to seated. You guys made it all the way to the end. Good, good work today. I am always so proud of the work that you do. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything that you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just can't resist your